open the IVMS 4200, add the device, uh, the outdoor device, door session, DS-KD8003 IME1 to the device management. Click add, give the name, it will give the model number. DS-KD8003. Give the username and password. Add device is online now. Now we will uh, see the remote configuration. Uh, so now we upgraded the firmware to the latest version. Latest version firmware uh, coming with new interface for the remote configuration. Just click on the remote configuration. You will get the remote configuration page. I will maximize this. Same like IP camera web page, you will get this new interface. Okay, so this is the device information. So here you can see the model number, serial number, firmware version. So the now version 2245, 2.2.45. This is the latest version available now. So, the next is the maintenance. From this page, you can uh, uh, update the firmware. Okay, you can update the firmware, uh, the main module firmware, the display modules firmware, sub modules firmware. Everything you can update from here. The firmware you can download from the website, iQuision website. Then uh, here also you can import the configuration file. If you have a you have export from configuration file from another device, and you can import from import to here to copy the same settings. Uh, then user management. Here you can uh, change the user. You can add the new user and you can. Uh, Change the username, password of the admin user also. Okay. So this will, uh, this password is the admin password. Then uh, network settings. So here you can change the IP address of the device. Then video audio. Here you can see, you can set up the resolution mainstream substream resolution bitrate frame rate all video parameters you can change from this page so this device the, this particular device supports 1080p 2 megapixel okay. so here frame rate up to 25 to support bitrate respective bitrate you can set up and also that is audio settings here you can see audio encoding format you can set up then uh, you can change the input volume mic volume speaker volume you can change from here okay. both the uh, mainstream and substream you can change okay now we go to image image you can change the image adjustment brightness basic image adjustment is there then dynamite switch there are three options day mode night mode auto and there is schedule switch so daytime means full time color night mode is full black and white the ir will be on auto means the device will uh, the ir sensor will sense the light condition according to that ir will on automatically okay then uh, there is schedule switch you can set up some start time and end time for the ir on and off so it is recommended to put it in auto so the device will uh, automatically change to IR if there is no light. Then there is a backlight option for the BLC. You can enable the BLC backlight compensation. And here there is one more option WDR. This wide dynamic range. This uh, particular model uh, supports WDR. Here you can disable and on the WDR. If you disable you can see this uh, little bit darker 
if sunlight is coming from outside you can uh, turn on the WDR so then you will get more brighter image that is OSD this is also a new feature here you can change the date format uh, everything okay. and also you can change the camera name so this name will be shown in the display live view okay then uh, target cropping the supported target cropping so you can uh, if you discover more area you can target some particular uh, area you can crop that so it will focus on that that part only. so you know this is uh, fisheye lens is fisheye 180 degree fisheye lens the next option is event so the basic motion detection is supported by the device so you can uh, and if you enable the motion detection you will get the notification in the uh, mobile app or software whatever it is also you can add this device to the nvr with the ip address using the ip address you can add this device to the nvr in the same network and uh, you will get the notification in the nvr also for the motion okay so here you can enable and disable there is arming schedule for the motion detection and the uh, linkage method if you enable this notify server and sender you will get the notification in the mobile app if any motion is uh, happened in front of the device the next option is uh, this uh, schedule schedule option this is the new feature okay if you enable the by default it is 24 hours so this basically uh, you can set up some schedule for the calling so here by default it is 24 hours you can uh, set up a time period from start time to end time like 9, 9 am to 9 pm so only that time the calling will work you can call from the outdoor session to indoor session so by default it is 24 hours if uh, you get some uh, particular requirement for a particular time period calling for a particular time period then you can uh, use this schedule this will be helpful in uh, offices and all offices having some particular time period for work hours you can set up like that okay the next option is in the com so this is the basic dose session details like you can set up the building number if you have multiple outdoor devices you can each device you can set up different different uh, number okay and here also this is for uh, dose session you can uh, set up extension also from here by changing the dose session number now this ring back tone settings you can uh, add ring back tones the customized ring back ring, uh, ring back tone you can download from the google and you can add here for uh, customized one this is the button the device is uh, by default coming with a single button so this is the button will by default will call to room number one so the indoor session the screen uh, room number should be one so if you uh, press the button it will go to the room number one okay if you change the room uh, but button set room number here you have to change from the screen also so by default it will go to room number one so if you have a keypad module like button module sorry button module then uh, all button module will uh, show here and you can set up each button particular uh, room one two three four five like that. then uh, sub module configuration so in this page you can see uh, how many uh, extra modules connected and it is if it is online it will show here online. so now with my device i am connected one card reader module and one keypad module okay there is number settings 
this four SIP server, this VTS in require, then uh, access control option. So this password is for uh, is basically unlock password. So if by using this password, you can uh, unlock the door. So you need to use a keypad module. Like uh, there is a module uh, with keypad is coming pin pins. So you have to use that module with the device main device camera. So you can uh, create up to sixteen public passwords, sixteen different passwords you can put to unlock the door. By using these passwords, you can easily unlock the door without calling without calling to the screen. If nobody is inside the screen to take the call. Then you can use this password to enter. Also, it supports the card also by using the card reader module. Okay, so here you can set up like different uh, password you can set up. Just two times you need to give the password and confirm. So I'm giving just. So it will support uh, six digits only numbers. is saved okay then uh, door parameters so uh, this this device this uh, device we are looking it supports two locks you can connect two different locks to the same device so here you can see door one and door two door two is the second lock door one is the first lock so basically you can connect to the two doors or two gates whatever it is so it give two relays two independent release so here you can change the door name also this is the new feature in the new firmware you can set up the lock unlock duration lock time actually lock duration so how many seconds the door should uh, unlocked after unlocking so after two seconds uh, it will locked again so this you can edit by whatever it is you can set up can set up the card encryption also you can do and this particular device supports for elevator controller also you can uh, install in the elevator for the